Protein isn't just for building muscles. It is crucial for your hormones too. Hi, I'm Dana. I am a certified holistic nutrition consultant, and I help women overcome perimenopause symptoms by getting really deep inside their body to show them what the root cause of their symptoms, of their problems, of their complaints are, and help them understand how to eat to fuel that problem, to make sure that we are targeting the right area of health, the right part of the body, and taming those symptoms so that they can sail through those years with ease and blissful happiness and energy. Hormones require protein in order to be produced in adequate levels. Protein is an essential nutrient. We need it for a lot of functions, not just hormones, but especially during perimenopause, when hormone production naturally declines, we want to make sure that we're getting enough adequate protein to support the need for stable decline. One of the biggest problems and one of the reasons why so many women struggle with hormonal issues and symptoms, it's not that the hormones are declining, it's that they don't have the fuel needed to produce the right amount of hormones. So that decline drops drastically. It drops so fast that your body just can't keep up. And suddenly all of these problems like hot flashes and night sweats and weight gain and cravings and what else? What else? Brain fog, sleepless nights, waking up at three in the morning. All these things start to happen to us. And we do blame our hormones, but it's not actually the hormones. So when I'm working with clients, we want to work on the root cause. And it's never the hormones that are the problem. It's actually what supports the hormones. There are three pillars of hormone health, production, metabolism, and detoxification. So we must make sure that we are looking deep below the surface at those three things. What's impacting that? What's interfering with that? What's making it go, you know, spin out of control, like go bananas on us. So protein is a, an essential building block for the production of your hormones. Hormones like insulin, growth hormone, which is critical, and pituitary hormones are made from amino acids. Without these adequate amount of proteins and the right amount of the right types of protein, you can struggle to make the right amount of hormones, um, which can lead to those imbalanced symptoms. Amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan are the precursors to your thyroid hormones and serotonin, which is really important. We want healthy thyroid hormones to help with metabolism of our food, make sure we're getting the right energy, of course, and this can help with weight. And then serotonin is so, so important for our mood. Now, when I talk about hormone metabolism, I'm talking about whether or not your cells can actually respond to hormones that are circulating in your blood. It's a common misconception that as hormone production changes, that is what's going to lead to the symptoms of perimenopause. Um, and what's really going on in most of my clients anyway, is this deeper problem of poor hormone metabolism, which is created or caused by inflammation. Protein is an essential nutrient for a healthy immune system. It can create these um, immune regulating and modulating proteins and compounds that help to tame inflammation. Protein is really important for liver health. Hormone detoxification is a critical piece that one of the three pillars. The liver uses amino acids to produce enzymes that break down and remove excess hormones, especially estrogen, super important through our perimenopause and menopause years to prevent estrogen dominance, which is predominantly what the what most women struggle with. And as a woman who struggled with heavy periods, painful periods, cramping, breast tenderness, period issues in general, maybe weight gain that you just couldn't under couldn't control or didn't understand, starting from around puberty or even earlier. These women are estrogen dominant without realizing it. Glutathione is your main antioxidant. This is the most important antioxidant in your body. It is produced in the liver. It is used by the liver for so many different things. And protein is important in making glutathione. I've talked about it in an earlier video, but when we eat adequate amounts of protein, this can help regulate our blood sugar levels. This helps to slow down the breakdown of glucose and helps to prevent insulin resistance from popping up, which can cause fatigue, brain fog, weight gain, cravings, hunger, um, PMS, anxiety, mood swings, poor response to stress, and so much more. And then another really important part of health for a woman in her perimenopause years is maintaining healthy muscle mass. When we don't get enough protein, it's really hard for our bodies to make more muscle, keep up with muscle. So you could be doing resistance training every single day. But if you're not eating enough protein and in combination with inflammation, 
you may find that you're not building muscle and getting stronger like you had thought. One thing I would do in this case is to make sure you're eating enough protein and tame any inflammation and really importantly, get at the heart of what exactly is going on inside your body. Understand your personal root cause. Make sure you include protein in every single meal and snack to help your body produce the hormones it needs, stay happy, balanced, energized, regulated, and sail through those perimenopause years with blissful happiness and ease. 